M T U M T U <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. And before you ask, no, I did not go to a school called MTU, whatever that is. I'm here to talk to you today about how to change the MTU settings on your PlayStation 4. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. I'm also gonna explain if it's even beneficial to optimizing your online multiplayer experience. And I'm gonna show you one cool trick I found that really helped me on my online multiplayer experience that can help you as well. As always, if you guys enjoy this video and you find it helpful, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest videos. Let's get right into it. So first I wanna show you guys how to get um, change your MTU settings on your PlayStation 4. And so right now we're at the home screen and what you wanna do is you wanna go up to where it says um, settings over here on the right and then you want to go down to where it says network and then what you want to do is you want to reset up your internet connection and in this case I'm using Wi-Fi but you can also do this through a, a wired LAN um, situation as well and at this step you don't want to choose easy because you want to go custom because we're changing the MTU settings today And then what you want to do for IP is you want to choose automatic. Uh, do not specify for DHCP. Uh, for this uh, video, we'll choose DNS settings automatic. And then once you get to where it says MTU settings on here, you want to go down to where it says manual. And you'll see here there's a highlighted box that shows a value of 1500. And I kind of want to explain at this point what MTU settings are um, and uh, how it may or may not benefit uh, the online multiplayer experience. Um, so MTU is short for Max Transmission Units. And basically what that is is when the PlayStation 4 talks to other uh, proxies um, or other peer-to-peer uh, -peer network consoles or servers, it, it takes um, a certain amount of maximum bytes that it can uh, deliver in packets to each unit. Um, and that maximum value, the PS4, is set at default at 1500. What, a lot, what you'll hear some people say is that if they, um, they tinker with this setting, they adjust it and they lower it slightly to maybe 1475, 1450, or maybe even as low as 1350, which is reducing the size of those packets, um, that it can actually reduce ping and lag. Um, in my case, I found that it doesn't really reduce ping and lag for me, um, and I'm not really sure if it necessarily um, speeds up uh, how fast I get into other multiplayer sessions, like for Call of Duty or um, other um, massive online multiplayer games where you're, you're trying to join a lot of players. But I do want to go over a couple of things as well as how to continue uh, changing settings so that you can test for yourself if MTU, changing MTU settings are right for your PlayStation. So what you want to do is you want to push enter. And then if you want to adjust this setting, what you should do is you should only go down by about 25 to 50 units at a time. So we'll change it to 1475. And then what you want to do on the next screen is you want to test the internet connection go back uh, and then the next time you do it you want to uh, maybe reduce it down to 1450 and as you keep reducing that you almost want to like make a note and say like how how fast the internet itself is running um, when you do the test in terms of megabytes per second but more importantly you want to look at uh, your smoothness of connection stability of connection um, how how seamless the online multiplayer experience is for you and if it really is any different than just leaving it at the old default 1500 which for me it's it's fine but I do want to mention this one cool trick I found that could really help optimize your multiplayer experience as well and this has to deal with uh, for me I, I've been getting it back into GTA online again and one cool trick I found was if you want to join a, a solo public lobby, which is where you're only playing by yourself, but it's still considered a public lobby and other people don't go into it or join it or anything like that. 
What I actually found works is if you do a, a data byte value for MTUs well below 1500, say 800, what that actually does is that allows you to join a solo public lobby where people don't come in or out. And what's cool about that on GTA Online is that other players won't destroy your cargo. It'll allow you to do CEO work in peace um, when you're trying to go after, you know, like doing headhunter missions or sightseer or things like that. Um, and you may not necessarily make as much money doing uh, some of these missions. Like if you have a bunker business and you're trying to um, do a full load of weapon cargo, you may not get as much reward by being not in a supremely popular lobby. And what the game will also do too, is it knows that you're in a solo public lobby. So there'll be things that come at you like NPC, enemy players, which are actually computer generated to try and come at you and destroy your cargo. But in my opinion, being uh, trying to get destroyed by an NPC is a lot easier in my opinion and saves you way more GTA money online than say somebody on an oppressor that hovers from above and starts, you know, coming at you with missiles and stuff like that and it's over on your mission. So I really like solo public lobbies um, in GTA Online and I do that and it works 100% of the time with the MTU 800 setting. And I recommend that if you're currently playing GTA Online that you also switch yours to uh, 800 as well. And I do want to mention one more thing about just how to optimize your, your PS4 internet in general and speed it up. Do I recommend that MTU is the way to do that, to speed it up? In my opinion, no, not really. The reason I say that is because I've tested this on my system and I, I get better speeds just leaving the MTU settings alone. What I recommend is to change your either your DNS setting and also to if you have the PS4 Pro or the PS4 Slim and you have a dual band router that you're, you're connecting Wi-Fi through, you wanna make sure that you, you segment that radio band frequency to either five gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz. You also wanna look at seeing if changing your network to NAT type one as when it connects your PS4 to your, your router or your LAN connection and seeing if those three factors improve your uh, network connection um, and your online multiplayer experience which doing tinkering with all three of those definitely helped me in my multiplayer experience. I did a full guide going through each of those three factors to improve your online multiplayer experience on the PlayStation 4. And I'll leave uh, links in the description below to those additional YouTube videos that I made for you. And I highly recommend you guys go check that out. And that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest videos. I'll see you guys in the next one.